The government's given $11 million to train Māori to administer the COVID-19 vaccine to their own communities. While being welcomed by some, the others say even more help is needed. Mariana Johnson reports from Parliament. The race to get the Māori health workforce ready to give the jab is on. Associate Minister of Health Penny Henare says it won't be easy. We have a significant challenge in bringing some of our whānau in to be able to be trained and able to administer the vaccine. Uh, we're working with Māori health providers first to identify who we can train uh, and who are able and willing to do it, uh, and then secondly making sure that the training uh, is done with them. The Ministry of Health has made moves to address this. Dr Ashley Bloomfield says non-clinical staff at Māori health providers will be trained to administer the vaccine. We've looked at this uh, in the vaccine programme and um, have approved the an exemption to be able to train our current non-regulated workforces, including Kaimahu, who might be working for Māori health providers and other providers. It's the news that Ropi Papa Uruta member and GP Rawiri Jansen has been waiting for. So these are Kaimahi, Kaiahi, Kaimanaki whānau. That workforce is going to be eligible to be trained and to do vaccinations. That's great news. You know, it's something we've been working on for years. We think it's going to make a really great contribution to the vaccine program. He says there's very few Māori nurses, so using non-regulated health workers will fill the shortage. Sala Hart from the non-clinical public health service, Harpai Te Hauora, also sees it as a positive step. I think it's a move in the right direction and it's a great move to um, demonstrate the faith and Māori providers in general because we know that they are the best connected to those communities that we're trying so desperately to reach. 62 providers will receive a share of $11 million to accelerate workforce training and infrastructure upgrades. Ms Hart says it isn't nearly enough. It's a drop in the bucket. Essentially, you know, Vote House has got billions of dollars associated to it. 11 million will stretch as far as we can stretch it. She says there are major infrastructure needs at Māori health providers. We had people that are still running off paper-based systems. We have technical support services or infrastructure support that isn't on par with some of the technological advances that we have now pivoted our health service in general to. We need to continue to build upon that. It's not yet known how many community health workers will be trained to administer the vaccine. Ngāpui COVID-19 response leader Tia Ashby says within the iwi collective of Tatai Tukero, almost 80% are non-clinical staff. She says training them for vaccination will make a big difference. It could help to minimise vaccine hesitancy that we've seen in some areas. It will help to address rural health workforce doctor nurse shortages and um, it's more cost effective than um, trying to hire and um, recruit more nurses. And Rawiri Jansen hopes once the vaccinators are trained, it will have an enduring benefit, as they can then be utilised for future vaccination programmes. Iparimata, Motehotaka, Oteatanei, Komiriana Johnson DNA.